Chapter 3 of Fortnite is just about here. The countdown for the event has started. We've got less than a week until the event and brand new trailers have been releasing and they point towards crazy things that are going to happen. Now before we get into it guys, if you are hoping for no school next week so you can fully play Chapter 3, just have a full week to play it, leave a like on the video but be fast. But yes guys, we're going to be going over a bunch of stuff to do with the event that obviously leads into Chapter 3 and then also covering the stuff with the new trailers there's so many secrets hidden in them you gotta see it but speaking of which be sure to subscribe because i'm going to be posting a lot of chapter 3 videos and also make sure you're using my support creator code sirs inside of the fortnite item shop oh and can't forget about the skin on last video it was v so here's a ton of people that got that right and this time around i say we go with this skin so comment down below the name of it and i will leave hearts on a bunch of the ones that get that right now guys before we hop into the info about the trailer for the new chapter since this chapter after is almost coming to an end, there's actually a way to get XP incredibly fast. So if you're still trying to level up your battle pass or get the bonus rewards, this trick will help you a ton. Basically, you want to hop into some of the creative maps here and find this one under Tycoon, which is Outlaw's Haven. Once you select that and click play, you will be loaded into a match. And like, I don't know if you can do a private match. That may actually be better because these people are going crazy. But this map specifically has a lot of XP. XP enabled and you can get it by doing different things like just as an example here if you run around and find these toilet paper rolls I don't know why they're toilet paper you'll get experience just for picking them up like there we go we got nearly 500 XP for that one some of them don't give you XP I don't know why but like this one should as well yep there we go it goes down a little bit after you start to play this for a while but again this is just an example of how well this works you can just run around and keep picking these up however there's an even better method of getting experience and that is through the secret room on this map. Basically, when you hop into a match, you can go right over into this building, then move over to this picture frame and just jump through the center of it at the right angle. It's a little bit tough sometimes to get it. But just like that, we popped on through into the secret room. And when we pick up this coin, we get a ton of experience. 13,000 for that one and it leveled us up. However, this is actually my third time picking up that coin. When I tested this out previously, the first time I got like 23,000, which is so much experience. And then the second time I picked it up, I got, I think 19,000 or something around there. And this time I got 13,000. So it does go down. But if you just repeat that process a few times, you can easily get like a couple of levels just by going in here and repeating that process. Like, there we go. We got 11,000 that time. So yeah, just a really good way of leveling up. Now guys, before we hop into the brand new trailer that we need to analyze, there was also a leak recently about the event that is happening super soon that gives us a ton of interesting details. So like just hopping into this leak, it goes over the nine different stages of the event itself. Granted, they are a bit abbreviated, so I may need your guys' help as well to come up with ideas for what some of these mean, but like the first of which is pretty obvious, it is simply ATT, which stands for attack. Now we already know that we're obviously going to fight against the cube queen during the event, and Chimpansky has been giving us all these unvaulted weapons in order to help with that, but that's how the event is actually going to start. After that, we have BEA, which has been rumored to stand for beam slash lightning, which could have to do with like the abduction phase that happened in last season's event. And it honestly makes sense because it goes hand in hand with the next one, which is BRE, standing most likely for breach, which again is kind of similar to last season's event. What exactly are we going to be breaching into? Is the cube queen going to create some sort of fortress or something that we need to actually break into? The fourth stage then, is rumored to be bridge, which will go hand in hand with that. So we break into the base and then run across a bridge to get to some sort of next area around the cube queen. Then it's followed by a simple cinematic slash scene. So something's going to happen during that. We don't know what, but it will cause us to need to escape because the sixth stage is in fact escape. Simple enough, right? That could be the start of the cube queen actually trying to end the reality of this current island. And that's why we need to escape but it then leads us into praise, which is a pretty difficult one to figure out what it means. It's been rumored that it means lobby slash waiting room, which would mean like actually waiting in the lobby. At least I would assume, right? We've had something like that happen before last chapter, before the black hole appeared. So that could happen again. Then we have a post cinematic scene slash post scene. So some sort of little trailer or something leading into chapter three or some bit of story info. That's going to be pretty cool. And then finally is SW 
SWI, which supposedly stands for Swirl or the Black Hole Returning. That's right, guys. It's actually going to return. That's going to be crazy. But yeah, there's a lot here, but there's still a lot of questions to answer. Now, let's just take a quick break from that event stuff. We've still got the trailer and stuff to talk about. But before we get into that, let's talk about a skin that is releasing in Chapter 3 that you can actually kind of get early. So in order to do this, we do need to equip a specific skin, which is Mystique. You'll see why in just a second. This is actually a newer method to something I showed you guys before. After that, we're just going to hop into a... Where is it? Come on. <laughs> there we go. A solo match. Now, once we're on the map, we need to go down to a specific area, which is actually right down at that building. I missed it a little bit. We actually need to use the mech here. Um, I also want to make sure nobody else is going to take the mech, so I'm just going to hop into it. And okay, cool. It looks like no... Oh, wait. There is one person here. You better run away, buddy. <laughs> I'm not dealing with you. Wait, why is he going in there? No, that's not good. We actually need to go inside of there as well. All right, we picked up a weapon. We're going to eliminate this dude before he can grab uh, that weapon right there. Oh gosh, that's not good. Oh no, he's coming around the corner. Come on, let's go. We got him. All right, sweet. So now that we eliminated that dude, what we're actually trying to do here is find Madcap, which we got to be a little bit careful because we don't have very much HP right now, but we're going to simply eliminate Madcap just like this. And again, got to be careful. We don't have much HP right now, but there we go. We got him. Now again, since we're Mystique, we can change into that skin and get the Madcap outfit early. However, what makes this even better is that if you hop into a mech and then switch seats, I think a couple of times and then exit, it should keep this skin for the rest of the match. So we can just go and get some eliminations as the Madcap skin early. And also the reason I talk about this being a chapter three skin is because it's been in the files a while and rumor is that we're actually going to see it released during chapter three, which would make a lot of sense because it's on the map right now, right? What is this person doing right now? Oh my gosh, why are they just building a tower? Sorry, buddy. How did none of those shots hit? No way, man. <laughs> I want to get one elimination. Oh, you've got to be kidding. What are you doing hopping back in there? I'm going to get you out of there. Yes, let's go. We got an elimination as Madcap. That's literally so cool. But now, guys, moving back into the stuff that has to do with the brand new trailer for Chapter 3, there's actually two trailers we need to talk about. One of which actually has already released. That's the one we need to analyze. But there was also just a bit of info announced about a second trailer coming super soon. Let's jump into it with the trailer that we've already gotten to see. Again, you may have seen this trailer already, but I more so want to talk about the secrets inside of it that you've definitely missed. Like, first of all, at the very start of this trailer, there's actually a bunch of secrets already. Now, one of which is that these characters are inside of a building that we don't recognize. Like, where is this building on the chapter three map? I actually may know where it is, but we'll circle around back to that. Because something else I wanted to bring up is these weapons on the side here. The first of which is the suppressed sniper rifle, which is just interesting because that weapon is currently vaulted. So is that like a hint that we're going to be able to use it during the event? And then there's also another sniper next to it as well, which is kind of hard to see, but I think it's the regular sniper or maybe the marksman. Could be either one, honestly. But either way, again, it seems like an interesting hint. But yeah, before we move on, where is this building that they're in? But yes, guys, just hopping into a match here. Let's see exactly where this location is. And oh my gosh, just looking at all of the corruption that is spread around the map is crazy. It's literally going to cover the entire thing. That is wild. But yes, the main spot that is expected to house this main starting point of the event itself and like where these characters are exiting, at least my idea was right here. This brand new location that was randomly added during the last update and it actually has been changing quite a bit. They just added all of these buildings right here and such. It clearly looks like they're building a base that's very similar to what we saw in the trailer. Like again, you've got all types of stuff here, but it's very haphazard as well. These walls are just kind of like random pieces of metal bolted together. So this is the, this is the squad that's going to fight off the cube queen, I guess. All right. But yeah, let's double check here. So in the trailer, we see this view. And if we kind of line that up with this location right here. Okay. Yeah, it actually is pretty similar. It seems like just the right angle. And hold on, let me get rid of this truck right here. We don't need it. Yeah, it definitely does. This area right here seems to be that same exact cement area just a little bit off but the angle is still pretty much there with the pyramid and also the hills behind it so yes guys this does in fact so yes guys this is in fact where we are probably going to be starting the event for this battle which is super cool oh and then something else real quick i wanted to mention
mention as well is that there's also a hunting rifle shown during this trailer. So is that going to be unvaulted as well? It definitely seems like it. But keeping it going here with that second trailer I was talking about, according to this guy, who is one of the artists working with Fortnite, had said that a new teaser trailer is just around the corner. He literally says, full trailer dropping soon. And then according to Hypex, this is going to be for like the chapter two finale. And this is from the artist that made the Watch It All Fall song, which apparently is also featured in the teaser. And just having that name itself is like a huge clue. We know that the chapter two map is going to fall to the Cube Queen, and that's going to lead us into the chapter three map in some way, which is really exciting. But anyways, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, remember to subscribe and turn on notifications for more chapter three videos coming up super soon. On top of that, you can check out some of my previous videos, such as going over the return of planes in the game. But again, I hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you in the next one.